Okay, so this will be part three of my um, Christmas decorations, but I'll also um, show you some stuff that I bought at a garage sale this weekend that just passed. Um, in my room, when you walk in, I put this Santa Claus up. I bought him um, either last year or the year before at Joanne's, and you could see here how he has those spools hanging. And then I also have the three um, the three kings. I bought those at a garage sale last year. And then let me show you. This is my Christmas tree. I don't have it lit. I completely forgot to light it up for you guys. And then I also have he's new, the Santa Claus. I just got him this year. and this is my tree I don't have any new ornaments for it I just the same ones I did last year but I did you know put it on this side of my desk this year um, and new items in my scrap room I'll show you um, this was given to me by Wally um, she had told me about it and what they did is they had gone to a vintage store I think at an antique mall or something and she says that the lady had knives and she wrapped her laces around them so I thought oh my gosh that's such a cute idea so she came over um, I don't remember if it was last week or the week before and surprised me and she gave me she had bought me the knives she went to the um, the thrift store and the Goodwill and she bought them she says they were 25 cents each and then she brought me this container this vase look how pretty that is so I went ahead and I wrapped some of my new laces around it the knives and I put them in here of course they they didn't all fit afterwards because I have so much lace it's just ridiculous and then let me show you um, a new item in my room I bought let me move this out of the way I bought this. This is for jewelry. It's for actually for rings. I don't know if you could see the lines in there, but I decided to use it as a stick pin um, holder, and all I did was just put my stick pins in it. So I thought that was really cute to put my stick pins in. And it is a ballet shoe. I'm, I never did ballet, but I guess it's it's pink and girly, so it looks fine, I guess, in my room. And then here's a new stick pin that I did with the little owl. And then let me show you some other new stuff that I bought. Let me cover you up here. I bought this little dish at a garage sale. And I also bought, um, oh, here's some more of the knives. But this has um, laces that are uh, darker colors, like the blacks and the blues. And what else did I get at the garage sale? I'm trying to think what I did with it. Oh, I bought this cross. It says family on it. I thought that was cute. I bought that and I bought, oh, let me show you this vase that I bought. I bought this vase and it's actually bone china uh, let me see it says yeah fine bone china and I put these flower sprays at um, Tammy which is SS crafter one sent to me and then here is Evelyn um, I forgot her YouTube name I know she doesn't have videos but she will be having a new video um, out soon because she just entered a swap and one of the um, requirements is that she had to do a video so she gave me this the other day with these stick pins look how pretty those are and then this is the one that Laura um, made for me which is the Rob and Laura and um, this is also the stick pins in here I put hers and the ones at Tammy which is the SS crafter one sent to me so theirs are definitely put in a special place so those are in my room and I think that's really all I bought at the garage sales. Let me see if I can go to my desk because I think there is one more thing. Oh, this is also, this plate, this dish is also a numbered. It's number 5 of 424. 
So I thought that was a great find. Oh, I bought some um, Easter stuff from the lady that she had, which were really cute. And then let me show you one more thing that I purchased. This I bought from them, which was also 25 cents. And it is a candle. It's from a Christian bookstore, and it's a candle. It's brand new. That's why I purchased it. If not, I wouldn't have bought it. And then let me show you what my husband built for me. I um, did get the Cameo, which as you can see, unfortunately I bought it. Um, I got it the day before my mother passed, so I haven't even opened it to play with it at all. I just, I'm not in the, I guess, in the best of spirits of crafting right now, but I will get back into it. I know that's what she would have wanted. Um, so he built this piece of furniture for me. So that I can go ahead and put um, my stuff and it's I still have space in the front and like I said I still have my Cricut and actually it my Cricut does open and it doesn't you know he made it high enough for my Cricut to be open and I can still work with it and then I also can have the cameo up on top and I can cut with it there and then this is the box that Laura sent me which I haven't put any anything in it yet, but I will. But that is my new addition to my room. And then you guys saw my tree, which is really the reason why I started it. And let me show you one more thing that I did um, change up here. I did put some, some of my things up on top. I, I changed it around a little bit. So I can declutter a little bit my my shelves because my shelves are just like popping out and I did put most of my mini albums actually all my mini albums are for sale um actually they did sell already and I also put a lot of my altered bird cages and stuff I put all that stuff for sale so that's basically it guys like I said I just wanted to show you guys my tree and a couple of the new stuff that I bought at a garage sale um thanks for watching 